Oh my god, look at this. You can't be serious. So I think this is a bit ironic because we're coming to get the, the wheels refurbished down a road that will probably mean, even if you had perfect alloys, <laughs> you're going to need them refurbished when you get to the place anyway. Oh, and the paintwork. And the out. paintwork, yeah. Is that it? Well, no. Doesn't look like it. The track is further around. Maybe carry on. Oh my god. It's a nice gaff that, isn't it? I wonder if that's his. Well, if that's the guy that owns the company, then we might be getting big prices there. 85 quid a wheel, he says. So today, we're having new wheel. New wheel colour. We're going for. We were hoping to have a bit of an argument on camera actually about the finish and the colour. <laughs> but but it's we, not happened, has it? No. No, we both agreed on exactly what we wanted the uh, the colour of the wheels to be. So we're we're having Audi carbon, which is like an anthracite. It's like a mid sort of anthracite. There's a slightly darker colour, um, and there's a slightly lighter colour. So it's right in the uh, right in the middle. But there isn't actually anything wrong with those, is there? I feel a bit bad now, actually. I know. Really? Why? Yeah, because they look they look really tidy, don't they? Oh yeah, they're mint. They've been refurbished before we bought it, so they're absolutely mint. Them wheels. We just want them a different colour. We think it'll uh, suit the the car a bit better. Bit of a waste of money, really, when you think about it, because there's nothing well, wrong with it. Well, this was your idea. Yeah, I know, but... Don't go... But now we're here, I, I don't know why we're here. Why are we actually bothering? <laughs> are you messing? No, this I'm being was deadly your serious. Idea. I would have left them as they are. They just look... I know they're a bit dirty, but... I'm being deadly serious. Is it your idea, this? <laughs> it definitely wasn't my idea. This was no, your we'll idea. You have to have words with your... Um, you're just wasting money here. So, first problem. What was it? Well, we couldn't find the lock and wheel nut, but then we established that it, it's because it doesn't actually have one. <laughs> Which is weird. You'd have thought most cars with decent wheels would have locking wheel nuts, but... Not got one. Wow. That's why there isn't a locking wheel nut. That makes sense, doesn't it? That's what are you looking for, you? All right, all right. It's, it's because you've got more experience with older cars than I have. So we've had a few comments about this shitty yeah. badge, haven't we? It looks it being, we need to get it It's not the right one, is it? Should we just no. take it off? I'll ruin it, though, won't it? Yeah, it will for now. Look at it, the paint's flaking off. I can see where it's been painted horrendously. Look at it. Oh, we need to sort it all out. So if anyone wants to come and nick the wheels, just come and get them. There's no locking wheel lots, is it? No, it's quite a bad oil leak in there, I know that. What's happening? I don't want to touch it, but that looks wet for a start. Do you actually know what you're looking at? No, but that's wet. <laughs> that's wet. That's, that's wet. wet. That's wet. Yeah, it's all piss wet through, isn't it? Yeah. With oil. So if you got that on your hands now, what would it, what would it do? Yeah. Real bad. So you've got to be careful. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I'd be wearing gloves myself. <laughs> I do, do, but <laughs> just can't be bothered. So this is what they would look like after what's this been about half an hour? Yeah, about twenty, about twenty-five minutes. Yeah. So that's just the paint that's lifted. Yeah. Off. It's strong that acid. Do you not smell that anymore? <laughs> oh yeah, you smell that. Got no nose left. <laughs> <laughs> Cars on the ramp, wheels off, tyres off, straight into the acid bath that you can see just over here. And then it's they usually stay in there for about half an hour or so. Once they're out of there, they then go and get jet washed to get any of the, the rest of the stuff off. If there's any sort of nooks and crannies in the uh, in the wheel, they then get um, tidied up, cleaned. Goes into the oven, <laughs> baked, so that they're completely bone dry and that's when they get painted. Once they're painted or primed first, then painted, then go and get oven baked again. And then there's like a, a matte clear coat that goes on to give them that matte finish. So I've just noticed with these, there's a little bit of um, uneven sort of like wear and it's supposedly because of these drilled bits, because there's a gap, slight gap in between, that's why you get the sort of like the ridges. So if we drill these out in the future, maybe do a mill wider and then it actually stops this from happening. I was just texting my guys at Audi to see if he could sort us out some black ones because we're thinking about black with the, the chrome, keeping the chrome little accents in the middle. Yeah, so more importantly, Instagram, beautiful girls have just started following me wherever they are, so uh, get in, I'm happy with that, don't tell the missus. Um, but yeah, so we just need to get some black ones, they'll look pretty good in the middle of them wheels, I think. These are definitely going to be about 15 to 20 pound A cap. So they're in the acid bath, all four now. This is definitely no turning back. 
Now we're turning back now. Hey, listen, I was I'm happy with it. It was you that's having second thoughts. I still think we should have left him uh, should have left him but in the normal colour. Definitely too late now. You know this was your idea. <laughs> Bit more worried about that. Just me, does it look like there should be like a bolt and <laughs> shit in there? Oh yeah. Definitely looks like something's missing out of that. That doesn't look good. So it seems a shame putting the wheels back on. They're not nowhere near done, but should we clean these calipers up? Yeah, let's do it. Good then, what do you think it is? Come on, get off your phone, you. You keep just come that on. on every You're supposed to be doing a video here. Eh? Sorry, yeah, they look way better, don't they? Yeah, them. You sound, make it sound a bit more enthusiastic. They look dead good, then. How's it going? How's it looking? Yeah, it's getting there, they're getting there. So, 10 past 11 now. Let's have a look, see how we're, see how we're doing. See how it's all like peeling off there without doing much so they need another hour and then they're gonna get baked then do the other stuff <laughs> that one can hear a word you saying oh, that's better so then get baked cleaned off in there baked in there and then all the other stuff and that's about it really yeah nice go and get some food now we're talking Come on. so when people say to you showbiz is glamorous have a look where we've just walked from Look at this, absolute trek. How was your Nando's? Oh, cheeky Nando's. We've always got to sleep a slip of cheeky Nando's in. So she's not impressed, it. is she? No. She's had to drive the, um, what is it, RSQ3. She's just down, had it cleaned. Down and the muddy lane. She's just <laughs> had to bring it down there, yeah. Bye. Thanks for coming. See you later. Back, dropping us off, <laughs> taking us Nando's. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got back after our two hour lunch. Looks like they've been Stripped. They are stripped, yeah. They are literally. Look at that. Quite good like that actually. Yeah. So hopefully they didn't need any um no they were they were clean, weren't they, the wheels? Mm, brake dust. Well I mean like with no dents in them or anything. Oh no it? no no, they've been refurb so they were uh few a minute. Hopefully there's no dodgy cracks or anything like that in there, but I wouldn't thought so. Yeah, so this has had some previous damage just on the rim. It's only uh, superficial, nothing structural, so we're just going to use a, a tough UV filler. So when we saw these wheels had been sort of refurbed and painted, the paint's covered most of these up, hasn't it? But because you've stripped it right back, you can actually tell. Yeah, it's probably had some uh, soft body filler in the past. Yeah. Which will just Is that what the acid bath would have took out? Yeah, I'll just take everything off. So the UV light in this is now reacting with the resin and that. Yeah, the UV will cure it. Won't take a few minutes. So fully, fully cured. Rock hard now. Just where the world's gone over. It would have just been a hairline crack, yeah. Yeah. If the wheels had a hit, and and it's not straight, and it's got a crack in it, more more slightly it'll crack again. So what we do when we weld it, we'd leave the full full weld. Okay. On the outside to like yeah. strengthen it up. <laughs> so we're getting them sanded down, or well, they look like they've been sanded down. Final prep before, um, this is the final prep now before the primer goes on. So that's where the weld was, previous weld. So that's been sort of like sanded down. All the rim edge and the inner edge has been sanded down. So that's all smooth. Any imperfections on the face, just there you can see where it's been sanded. So that'll get primed in a minute. And then maybe another sanding down and all the edges here, you can see where it's all been sanded. So 
perfect condition. They're looking much better than they were, definitely. So we're now at the paint mixing stage. Now, because I'm an expert on mixing paint, basically it's five to one of something with a hardener and some sort of paint. And then there's some sort of primer, which is like got another ratio of like, I heard 20% or like 40% before. So we're just going to mix all that crap together and then just throw it on the wheels and job done. That made absolutely no sense what whatsoever. Last, that was brilliant. Hey, it's a good job that's got stabilisation on it because I was pissing myself. <laughs> that's, that's, what he's, that's what he's just told me, Paul. Yeah, but he made much more sense and it, 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 what he said was factual. Whatever he said 15% you said. and a hardener and a primer and all mixed together and then he's going to throw it on the wheels. Ignore him. He's full of shit. Put the kettle on, make a brew. I've got an the water out in the sun. See, told you. Bit of mixing, 20%, 40%. Five to one on the ratio of something. <laughs> That's what you said, didn't you? Hardener. Yeah, hardener. Is that a special stirrer with that? Just for paint. Looks almost black in there. It is, it's black primer. <laughs> That's because it's a primer, you dickhead. <laughs> you still, this is what he does on these videos. Someone working and yeah. he's watching. I'm taking it all in. How are we getting on, bro? Nearly there now. They're all primed black. There you go. You know the colour. Is that the finished the finished colour though? No, you thought it was. Smell of paint. Fresh paint does smell good, doesn't it? Yeah. Can we just keep them like that? You can see the imperfections still on the wheel there. You can still see a little bit of it. But it is, a, it is only a primer coat. Right there, you can see depression in, in the alloy. So they do look really good, just primed. So what's gonna happen now is, they're gonna be, they've got about 25 minutes left to be just dry, because if you try and increase the drying time, the paint doesn't have time to settle in. So if you, if you dry it too quick, the paint just doesn't flatten down onto the alloy. It's quarter to four now. I just can't see us getting out of here tonight with these wheels. Lee there, getting friendly with the locals. It's not often you see a tax disc from um, 02. So, November 02, and that's the last time you bought a round? <laughs> <laughs> so just sanding it down for the for the main coat, yeah? Yeah, it's just any little, uh, any little defects. We're just flat out at this point. Do you want to check and make sure this isn't black? <laughs> so this is the actual carbon grey. It still looks black in the light. A little bit grey. Not bad though, is it? It's because it's tin, dark in it, inside. It's an easy mistake to make, isn't it? <laughs> For them people that are complaining about like prices of stuff and cars, and oh that's too expensive, have a look at this. So, we found out just. Am I not supposed to know? You can know if you want. £55,000 for that box there with the light in it. £55,000 you can get an RS3 20 plate and have five grand left for some nice wheels. Yeah. What do you think of that? <laughs> what is the, wrong with them wheels? And then the nice wheels, you can actually diamond cut them again on that. So where, where are we up to with these wheels now? We so must now, be getting somewhere. What time is it? Quarter, 20 past five. They've literally just gone in to be uh, painted. So now they're getting, they're getting the middle coat, the middle paint of, the middle paint of coat, coat of paint. And then once this is dried off, so this is going to get baked then, and once this is done, they'll go in for the clear matte coat, and then hopefully we won't be too much longer. So yeah, here we are, with the colour. So that's it in Audi Carbon. I like the colour actually, really like the colour. Looks good. So yeah, looking good. The only downside is we can't take the car back today because these need a few hours to dry. So apparently this could dry pretty quickly, but then the clear coat takes three or four hours to go off. And that's with the heat on as well. So we said the tires definitely won't be going back on today. That'll be tomorrow, which is a little bit frustrating because we wanted to take it home today, but it is what it is. So that's it, our first coat of lacquer is on the wheel. And um, yeah, it's looking pretty good now, so that's going to get another coat of lacquer. And then the next time we're going to see these, the tires 
say is a bit beyond. And it's going to be on the on the car, so really looking forward to seeing them tonight. Oh, should look really good. So that's us, Carlos now. It's gone a bit over on the time today. Brilliant. Happy? No. Happy. Livid. This was your idea. What? You're the one who wanted the wheels painted. Yeah, well, I didn't think it was going to take till like six o'clock at night. Look at that. Quarter to six. Yes! We've got one! We've got one! Have me coming out in a puddle, why don't you? Stop moaning. Ah, what are we saying? Yeah, I'm liking it. Obviously, not doesn't look perfect because the centre caps are off, but and obviously we still got to get the trim done. But it's getting there. Yeah, it looks good. I'm really happy with that. Yeah, me really, too. Really, really happy. Obviously, we've still got the stuff where the wheels, the tyres, been put back on. So looking good, that. Looks really good. I think it uh, sets it off as soon as we get some black centre caps for it obviously we smoke the side repeaters yeah. get the trim done I think it'll look amazing yeah all so. thanks to this guy wherever he's gone Paul, yeah. Paul at Balf services done yeah. a good job wheel ball caps <laughs> oh yeah yeah right then. oh yeah wasn't quite finished just the caps to go back on See you next time. See Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and like and comment and all that stuff. See you later. Bye. Ciao.